Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This will be a long-awaited review for you and me for the Lin Toys 1-6 scale quiet figure from Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. It's not actually called quiet though because, you know, copyright reasons, it's not an official release. So it's called the Sinful Butterfly. There is also the Guilty Butterfly, that's the one, uh, and that comes with less stuff. But this is the Sinful Butterfly, the deluxe version comes with some extra weapons and i believe the second head sculpt is also an extra accessory that you get with the deluxe and possibly this extra decal that you can use for the base that comes with the figure now you won't be getting this prison outfit that is just something i've bashed together with a spare fire sim body that happens to have a matching skin tone and i just basically set up a version of quiet you know as if she's been captured although if you've played the game you know that those handcuffs aren't going to hold her so she's just playing along for the moment but here is the main figure this is not a base that comes with her uh, i'm just using this one because i used to use that with my uh, play arts kai quiet which is there so we'll get a look at that for a comparison later on that's really expensive and that's smaller than this one six scale version but the main things i'm going to be talking about in this review are basically just warnings for folks you know because it was a, as little as she has as far as an outfit is concerned it's really 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 difficult to put her outfit together now the figure itself you know it doesn't come with the body you have to get the body separately and this body that i'm using is the fire sin uh where is it oh yeah there you go it's the S19B. Uh, it says suntan medium bust, but it's S19B. That's the, the one you need to search for on eBay. Um, some folks are using a different body, uh, more toned, more muscular. Uh, I personally prefer this one, the one that's you know intended for the piece. Because when you go back and check out Quiet in the game, you know she's. Um, she's very capable but i don't remember her being ripped or anything like that this is quite accurate to how her you know body appears in the game so i'll be sticking with this body plus after the nightmare of trying to put all the parts on i will never ever be taking them off again in order to swap a body um i'd rather try and grab an extra because the the deluxe the deluxe version comes with spare tights that are not ripped so you got like a unripped version and then the ones that are, she's wearing so i have a spare pair of these i've got the second head sculpt so really if i wanted to bash together another version of quiet and if i was going to do that i'd do the blood drenched version that you can unlock in the game where she's completely covered in blood uh, i would be tempted to do a custom version of that at some point but trying to track down this bikini top on ebay that's the one thing that you can't get right now you can buy all her other little bits separately on ebay right now but not the bikini top or the bikini bottoms that you can't really see under here so um there is a little cassette tape that in the game this is tied to a branch with a bit of string and you get that bit of string with this set and I thought, obviously, you know, the string goes through the tape and you can then hang it somewhere and just like in the game. But I've actually used the bit of string to get the bikini top to sit in the right place because, let me just turn this around. This is the biggest nightmare out of everything. Um, let me just lift up her poseable. Well, let me just take the head off. Now, yeah, you can see that little loop that is on the end of the uh, bikini top and you can see the other side there and how I've joined them both together with a bit of string now if you don't use the string and you literally just you know take the two ends of the bikini top and join them together then it's too small it won't it doesn't work and literally the bikini top just it sits up here and it just looks completely bizarre and wrong and doesn't fit at all so and this is only a medium bust body so you can only imagine how bad it would be if you tried to use it on a bigger bust or a different body i don't know but i've basically just used and for all i know you're supposed to i don't know the instruction book is very very limited it literally just tells you to put some uh, sort of saran wrap or cling film whatever you call it uh, under this before you put on this sleeve thing to make it easier to get it on there so basically yeah, i just tied this bikini top together here with the string and then her hair kind of hides that but it's it's the only way to get the bra to sit in the right kind of place and also it's like a rubbery kind of bra 
and I just worry about this over time. I hope this lasts. It's very thin, particularly the uh, the bit that goes around here. That's very flimsy. Um, I mean, hopefully it you know works out and doesn't break because, like I said, it's going to be very difficult to find this particular bikini top by Lim Toys on eBay. It might pop up, and I'm going to try to grab a spare one, but I just worry about it because. There are not many options. I tried to find different material bras that I could maybe, well, not bras, but different bikini tops uh, in one six scale that I could find maybe as a backup for later on in case I needed it. But nothing looks the way this one looks. So I'm just hoping that holds up over time. So other things to let you know about the little pouch here. There's supposed to be two. Uh, I do have two of them, but just because of space um, I didn't want to use both of them so I've just put one there I think one's enough I don't really care about it being completely screen accurate and having both of them there uh, I think two would be a little bit too crowded on our waistline so I'm not gonna do that and the knife holder the blade sheath or whatever, whatever you want to call it that is actually supposed to be in front of the gun holster so kind of like between this grenade here and the gun holster uh, that's kind of where the knife is supposed to be but just the way it worked out and the way it was attached when i put you know started putting this thing together that's where it is and again i'm not going to take this all apart and start trying to brainstorm a way to get that knife in front instead so i'd leave it there that's fine for me um the boots are really nice, they go on very easy. If I show you some reference pictures now from the actual, um, you know, real pictures of Quiet from the game, which you can take a look at now. So you see that the boots are a lot brighter than they appear in the game. So I could always maybe touch them up with a bit of paint, but I'm not really bothered about that. That's fine. I love the way the tights are done and I love the rips. I didn't have to do any myself. They were all there already. Uh, getting the tights on the legs can take a while, but it's doable. And because they're meant to be ripped, it doesn't really matter if you have a mishap, although I didn't, which was good. Um, now getting this this little flap, this is loose when you get it and you have to kind of feed it through these two loops here and they're super, super tight. Uh, I probably just need to find a smaller tweezers to grab it and pull it through, but that is really, really difficult to get to go through there. Um, so that is another little thing that was a pain in the butt. Now also, the head sculpts, uh, this one and this one over here, if I can just lift you up there. Um, I think it's this one. When you click this one down onto the body, she has no neck whatsoever. Like when it clicks into place, she looks ridiculous. Like it literally, I don't want to press down too hard and make her legs buckle. Um, I just basically just rest it on there like that. And I think that looks good. But I'm having trouble uh, when you actually do fully push the head down to click it into the joint. She literally doesn't have a neck anymore and she looks ridiculous. So I basically just um, filled the hole that the joint would go into with blue tack. And that way it just rests on there right at the right level. And I'm not going to be throwing it around or waving it around. So the head's not going to fall off. Uh, but that is a bit of a shame that I have to uh, kind of find another way to get the head to sit in a more uh, accurate sort of place. But the head sculpts are really nice. I'm just going to get all this stuff to warn you about out of the way first, guys. And then we'll start posing it and having some fun with the piece. But it certainly wasn't fun the first day I had her because putting everything together was a nightmare. Um, I'm going to have to put pause in and just think about anything else I need to remind you or let you know about. Because there has been many little things as I've been putting this together. I kept thinking, I have to remember to tell people this. I have to remember to tell people that. So let me just have a little think here and come back. These decals or stickers that you put on the grenade here, uh, you put them on yourself and they're not very good at staying put. Like you'll stick it down and then you'll come back later and you'll see that it's starting to peel away again. 
So on one of them, I did get a little bit of super glue and just kind of permanently try to get it to stay uh, on the grenade. The other one I haven't done that to yet, and that seems to be doing okay so far. So the stickers, you have to put them on yourself and they can kind of lift off a little bit, particularly on this little cassette tape. Um, I just recently pressed it down again, but you can see at the edges where it says 46, that's starting to lift up again. And let's just see the other side. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, hopefully it stays put. Again, I could just maybe try and get a little tiny subtle bit of super glue and uh, get that to stay on permanently. These stickers here, they go on the uh, rocket launcher, but I don't know where they go, so I'll have to do a bit of research um, and maybe find out. I mean, they probably go in one of these long blank areas, like around there or something. But again, not incredibly fussed about whether or not this has the correct stickers on it. It's already pretty cool looking. And you can remove the uh, rocket here, or bazooka from the bazooka, I don't know, whatever it's called. Um, maybe some of the stickers go on this, but it's cool that it's removable. And there's a big magnet here, I was trying to figure out what this was for, and it actually sticks to certain areas on the weapons. Uh, I don't know if it will work on this, maybe. Oh, yep, it does. So it, the, the guns are not metal, but they seem to have little bits in them that are metal, Maybe that's in order to uh, attach it to her back. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, I haven't actually tried this yet, but I'm assuming in here you've got to have some kind of magnet or something. So I think that should probably, hopefully, stick on here. No, it's trying to stick to something. No, I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, well, it's definitely sticking to something. Uh, and there is this weird white foam stuff that I guess I just have to peel away with my thumb here. Um, so once I peel that away, in theory I could maybe put the sniper rifle or the rocket launcher on her back. But because of the fire sin seamless body, it's incredibly uh, satisfying and real to look at. I mean, it's a very, you know, it's one of those great photogenic figures, uh, very realistic, no joints showing, great proportions, very accurate to how she appeared in the game. Uh, skin tone, muscle tone, you know, she, like I said, she's not ripped in the game. You can't see a six pack and all that stuff. So I'm more than happy with how the uh, the figure looks body wise. But yeah. Awesome looking piece. All right. So magnet goes there and. Yep. That's how that works. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I mean, how's something this big supposed to go on her back? Is that what we're supposed to do here? I'm not sure. Uh, but basically, guys, I do have to say, if you are very new to the 1-6 scale collecting game, you know, if this is like maybe going to be your second or third figure that you've ever bought, then I would say maybe think think about it. Because, it, you know, I've been in the game now over 12 years handling different figures, and I'm used to putting them together, and I'm used to uh, some of them being quite fiddly to get looking right. Uh, and this was definitely one of the most stressful ones. Um, well, for me personally, uh, now that I've told you a few things about how to do the bikini, as far as how to get it to sit in the right position uh, with the string at the back, you probably can avoid about a day's worth of stress. But um, yeah, I just think this would be a real headache for someone who's not used to this kind of thing, you know, uh, for someone who's been collecting a good few years and has had some experience, uh, you'll get through it and you'll get it looking good. But like I said, to new collectors who have not got much experience putting figures together, uh, that could be a, a big problem for you and really put you off. But, you know, if the result at the end of it is worth it. But it's definitely not easy to get it to look like this. All right, we'll take a look at the weapons quickly. Now, this does go in and out. I don't know where the stickers go, but you can put them somewhere on this. And it's nice. It's nicely detailed. Got no complaints with the way it looks. However, getting her to hold on to these big weapons, this and the big sniper rifle, can look really awkward and it certainly is uh, a bit of a pain in the butt to pose her with these. So I'll come up with something for you for some poses for this review, but mostly if she's going to be holding the weapon, I think I'm going to have her holding her sidearm, the pistol there, or the knife. Um, or just various kind of postures and stances and stuff rather than me trying to get it to look natural with something like this. Even in the game, when she holds it, it looks a bit weird. Uh, here is... The big sniper rifle, and this has the moving parts here. You can see the bullet is inside. That's a really nice touch, and you can lift that down there, lift it up. 
pull it back, all that good stuff. You can remove the magazine. There is a bullet in there already. That's uh, kind of stuck in place, but you can put the extra two bullets that you have. You can put one of them in there with it. Uh, the arms or the legs here do move forward. Uh, I heard in another review that these break quite easily, so be very careful with those. You can remove the scope. You can remove this bit here, two separate bits. They both uh, can be removed. Uh, there's different holes for this to go forwards and backwards. So you can position it more at the front or more at the back and there is a little magnet in here somewhere so that you can attach it to her back but it, i can't get that to happen it's too heavy it just falls off even with the big magnet they give you we've got her little communicating thing that she uses towards the end of the game it's nicely detailed and she can hold on to it with one of her hands quite well here is that little tape and the sticker is lifting off again even though i just pressed it down a few seconds ago still lifting off i have to do something about that more permanent because that is bugging me it's very nice looking tape though it's very cool and here are the stickers that go on the rocket launcher i'm not sure where they go mind you that gives you what's it firing direction that way okay so that might help with finding out where to put it but i'll have to look online see what i can see now we do have these three tiny little things and I can only assume they're to help you attach something to a belt, maybe the the little satchels or whatever you call them. And then you've got these slightly different shaped ones. They have like a hook there and a little bit there and I don't know. There's nothing in the instruction book, man, about it. Nothing whatsoever. The only thing, like I said before, that's in the instruction book is about putting the sort of surround wrap or whatever it is under this before you try putting it on there's nothing else in there to help you which is really slack man i'm pretty much unforgivable to be honest uh especially with something like this because it was a real pain in the butt putting it together you get some nice bullets and they're quite nice i don't know if these are metal they don't feel cold to the touch i think they're just plastic painted gold yeah they look painted gold to me and here's her other little satchel bag thing the one that I didn't put on the belt line because I just didn't want it to look overcrowded. This is the hand that will hold on to this quite nicely. I haven't tried that yet, but in theory, it should hold on to it quite well. Yeah, we've got a nice pointing finger or shush. She could, uh, she could shush, you know, because she's quiet. And this hand would be for gripping guns or again pointing or picking her anyway uh this one is for holding on to something else maybe that would be what would that be for maybe a grenade something like that but that's a cool hand sculpt i like that one and the other decal which has a little bit of the diamond dogs logo on there so that's pretty cool nice quality that's not going to scratch or anything i like the texture on it that's nice and tough it's got that you can see that kind of gritty texture going on and a fist for punching the background that you see behind quiet does not come with her that is just a background that i found on ebay um if i turn it around oh sorry quiet it's actually from uh the seventh infantry division my phone's falling down but you get the idea <laughs> oh it's all going well today oh great fun loving it uh, i waited uh over a year for this piece it's been a long time coming and she's been nothing but a pain in the ass <laughs> so far. But a very good looking pain in the ass. She looks great, man. She really does. Very happy the way the figure looks. But gosh, a lot of people are going to be frustrated putting this together. I'm sure a lot of people will just settle for, um, you know, they'll get to a certain point with putting everything on her. And they'll just think, right, that's enough. I'm, I'm good now. And they won't really complete the look. Um, but, you know, if you just stick with it, it is worth it. She does look fantastic. Uh, the head sculpt's really good. We'll get a close look at that now. I want to zoom in and get a nice detailed look at the sculpts. All right, so I want to take a look at the skin tone on the body matching up wise with the skin tone of the head sculpts. It's very close. There is a slight, slight difference. As I turn to the side profile and the light's hitting the side of the head, there, I've got an LED light coming in right here from this direction, very close. 
Uh, from the side, it looks really good. From the front, sometimes it looks like there's a little bit of a skin tone difference, but it's not too bad. And I do find with the other head sculpt, with the darkness around the eyes, that kind of looks like a Rorschach test uh, on her face. But this one seems to be ever so slightly paler than this one. So this head sculpt matches uh, a little bit better, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that seems to match better. Instantly, it just seems, yeah, that's the correct tone for the, uh, the head and the body match. Now you can see the teeth inside the mouth there, and it is a separate piece for the teeth. So they're not just, um, you know, part of the sculpt, they're a separate bit. So that's a nice little bit of extra effort there. It really is a great looking head sculpt. The lips do appear to be more of a... I don't know, it's, it's a, I'm not too good with my subtle differences between color shades, but there's, there's a little bit too much orange in the lips, if you ask me. Orange might be the wrong word. And, I mean, we've got a good reference for orange here in the background. Hey there, I'm, I'm, I'm headless quiet. Um, but yeah, they do have a slight orange tinge to them. I love her green eyes. They're really nice. So let me just uh, zoom in here. We'll get a look-see. Yeah, really, really nicely done. You can't really see the painted eyelashes uh, with this particular head sculpt because of the darkness around the eyes. But I'm glad that I went with the deluxe version so that I could have both of the head sculpts. Uh, very hard to choose between which one of these I would want. But as I said, this version here does match up skin tone wise with the body uh, a little bit better than this version uh, with no darkness around the eyes. And I don't know what the hell's going on like right there, see that weird little mark? Like it kind of goes away when you turn it to the side. But you can still see two tiny little specks, but then as the light, it's because like literally the LED light is big and it's right beside the camera here. So that's probably why. Let me just, nope, you can still see it. Well, I don't know what that is, but it's interesting. And what the hell is that little black spot there? Go away. Good, got rid of it. Uh, so yeah, it's a beautiful sculpt. Lips are a little bit orangey for my taste, but I'll have to go back and check the game. I, they could be that color, maybe they are. But yeah, the eyes are really well done and you can see the eyelashes. Zoom in. Yeah, the way the light is catching her pupils there just makes it look very real. Although it is based on a video game character, so we're not going for true, absolute real life here. But it does look a lot like, what's her name? Stephanie Houston? Stephanie Houston? Something like that. Um, the girl who played Quiet, or did the motion capture and stuff. I think she lives out in Japan. She's a model and an actress and all that stuff. But yeah, they did a great job on capturing her likeness. So that's cool. The hair is sculpted really well, and you can, you know, this is a separate piece that you have to attach yourself when you're putting it together, but it's posable and can move around. Pretty good motion there. So I have Snake on the shelf with his bandana blowing in the wind to the, to the right. So if I was having Quiet standing beside him, then her hair would be blowing to the right as well. So that's a nice little cool thing that you can do. But as you can see, man, stunning piece. Absolutely stunning. Her bikini top, you know, in this angle right here, it looks like the right tone of um, like that charcoal gray, almost black, but not black. I mean, obviously, because you can see that's black there. And this is way more of a kind of dark, dark gray. Um, in certain lights, it looked very gray rather than black. Uh, when I did the true light review outside in the natural daylight, it looked very light. Um, so I do believe that the bikini top in the game actually looks a bit darker than this. So that would have been nice. I was tempted to maybe spray it black, but then I risk obviously getting that spray onto the body. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but I definitely think they should have given you two of these as a backup because I really am worried about the, um, the rubber. It's just, it's a very, very tight fit onto the body and I'm just worried over time. I think it could be kind of inevitable. Um, you know, I just hope it's, it's a long, long, long time from now because it's going to be very difficult traffic, uh, tracking down this bikini top again uh, and trying to make your own. You know, it's possible, but 
getting this exact shape to the game and then getting the knot to do that in the middle with a bit of material it's possible but it's not going to be easy and it won't really look right it's kind of got to be i mean in the game the bikini top itself does seem to be like a weird rubbery kind of material that she uh, that she's wearing so um also a bit worried about this long sleeve here my experience with the hot toys fake leather items like the terminator 2 leather jacket and the dark knight rises selena kyle long sleeves like this they didn't last they started to peel over time and deteriorate so i'm hoping that doesn't happen to this long sleeve that she has on here but that's all i can say for now because it's a fresh figure i've just received it and i hope that she holds up i mean as little as an outfit as she has uh, you know i'm worried man because like i said there's barely anything here to worry about but what is here there's worries the bikini top i'm worried about it the sleeve i'm worried about it uh the stickers keep peeling off which isn't really that much of a big deal you can just glue them on but you know just be prepared folks be prepared for an awesome looking piece but you're gonna have to work you're gonna have to work it in order to get it to its full potential but there's no denying man I'm sure you're looking at this now thinking that looks fantastic. So, and it's nice that the, the head, even though it won't really, it, you know, like I said, when you click it all the way down, her neck disappears and she has no neck and it looks ridiculous, but it sits on there quite nicely and there's no horrible kind of gap. It's nice and kind of seamless and all flush and matches up nicely. So that's cool for a side profile pose. Speaking of poses. I suppose I should uh, probably get on with uh, busting some out for you, so let's get on with that. Weather surveillance indicates turbulence out there. Try not to get knocked out of the sky. Got it. she thinks she's going you want to head out with the boss that'll be the day I don't see a problem with it so long as she's with you she's a crack shot damn fine scout well suited for a clandestine op just more than I can say for the others there's nothing damn fine about this thing a lot of money. individual blade and a depth perception. One in. This is ridiculous. She doesn't talk. How could you possibly stay in communication? Right. I like working solo anyway. folks now i've checked the amount of footage that i've shot so far and we've got 29 minutes already shot so i don't want this review to drag on for like 45 minutes to an hour it's probably going to be 45 minutes at this rate 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up this review. I'll show you some comparisons between this figure and the snake that I have and the Play Arts Kai Quiet. And then I'm going to do a separate pose session where, you know, it's a fire sin body. So this figure can basically be put in any pose you can pretty much come up with in your head. So that will be the next video regarding this figure. It will be a big pose session. So those of you that were hoping to see some crazy poses, it's all coming. But I'll do a specific video specifically for poses. And I'll talk in that video as well. I won't just put music. I'll talk you through each pose that I do. But I just don't want this review to be ridiculously long. It's already getting that way already. So let me just finish up with some comparisons. And then I'll give you my final thoughts. And then you can look forward to the big pose session with this figure coming up very, very soon. Here is the Play Arts Kai Quiet figure. As you can see, it's a fair bit smaller and more of an anime kind of twist to the look. I mean, it doesn't really look like Quiet's face, maybe a little bit, but there was a second head sculpt as well that doesn't have the black around the eyes, more like this one here. But as you can see, I do prefer the more dark kind of bikini top color as opposed to this one, even though that may be more accurate. I'm really not sure. Uh, the pictures that I've checked, it does look a bit darker than that. Uh, the there's no mixed media here also it's handy because you can check this for a reference as to where everything's supposed to go so you guys uh, who are getting this one you might want to just double check this bit of the video because you can see um, that's where that goes that's where that goes that's where the grenades go you got this flappy thing here and the two pouches go there on her side so this was handy as far as me checking where things are supposed to go on this one. But it's a great piece. It goes for a lot of money now. Maybe that price will come down a little bit now that this version's available. But there are quite a few fakes of this one going around on eBay as well. So this is the real deal one right here. And I'm glad to have it. I'll keep it in the collection. I've always liked this piece. So there you go. That's how they look side by side. And there is my 1-6 scale snake. It's a Hot Toys snake, but the outfit has been completely changed to the camo outfit, which I really wanted him to uh, be wearing this. So I had to do a fair bit of hunting around on eBay. I really couldn't tell you where I found this now. It's been quite a few years. So you'd have to dig deep into my YouTube channel because the videos are all still on there when I was putting this together. And you can find your answers there, hopefully. And this is how they look together. So that will be my display. I'm going to find a cool pose for quiet. But I'll have Snake and Quiet together, obviously. And I'm glad that the box that she came in is the same size as the Hot Toy Snake box. So they'll look good together. But yeah. There is Snake. And there is Quiet. And I'll probably feature Snake uh, quite heavily in Quiet's pose session coming up after this video. But there they are together. All right, folks, my final thoughts before I bring you the pose session. Do bear that in mind. I know some of you have been hoping for a nice amount of poses in this review. It's just literally down to time. I had to spend the beginning of the video warning you about things and just preparing you for some of the headaches that you're going to encounter when you're putting this figure together. So the next video will be a full on pose session and I'll bust out as many poses as I can do. So you can look forward to that coming in the very, very near future. But for now, I'll just say I think it's, you know, out of 10 when you put the whole thing together using the body that they have suggested here, uh, the whole complete figure, I would give an 8 out of 10. It's an absolutely fantastic looking representation of Quiet in 1-6 scale. I would love to see a company like Hot Toys do it. They were going to do figures for the Phantom Pain, but then they decided not to. So that was a shame, but at least we have uh, something as good looking as this. So an 8 out of 10 from me, but very frustrating to put together. And like I said earlier in the video, for newcomers to the hobby, it would be, I don't know how they would cope. You know, like if this is your first, second or third figure, I, you know, it's going to be tough. But if you have some experience in putting these things together, then you should be okay. Just take your time and be very careful with the fragile sections. But I haven't broken anything, thank God. Everything is complete. And yeah, an 8 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what you think if you're going to be picking her up. And do keep it locked. Like I say, the pose session is on the way. So don't worry, those of you who need your uh, your pose fix with this figure, you'll be getting it from me in the very, very near future. And make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, check me out on Instagram and Facebook at dnight 333 And click the link under the video and become a Patreon for $1 a month if you want to help the channel survive. And you get your name at the end of every video, just like the credits of a movie. All right. Great job, Lim Toys. 
and I'll see you guys real soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.